Uh, those masters, especially to you, Dr. President Jin. Jin Yi, I'll evaluate your speech in two segments, things I like about it and some rules of it for yourself. First of all, I like the way you present this topic. Hmm? Bakers does it. There's only a couple yeah. of main characters inside, which is very good. That is where you get to fully maximize the vocals. Yeah. Okay. I like your vocal, your voice, because you have a very loud and resonating voice. And I like the way your tempo, the tempo that you use throughout your speech is pretty slow and easy, pretty easy to follow. Things, there are first, a uh, couple of things you need to take note when it comes to improvement. First of all, you need to have self-control. Understand you are nervous and you like to smile a lot. So what you can do before you start, before you start, begin speaking is take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, before you even speak, uh, when you stand in front of the audience, take a couple of deep breaths before you start. Taking deep breaths helps to calm your emotions. Second thing is, I, I realize you have a couple of pieces of papers of notes here, but you don't use it. What you can do instead of using notes, you can use cue cards. Go to a popular bookshop, buy a 3 by 5 roller cards. Okay, using roller cards, putting one point on one card, it guides your message easier. Rather than you rely on pieces of paper and halfway through you just forgot who your main character's name is. You just, oh, sorry, and then you start looking. Don't do that. Okay, as a speaker, Try to use cue cards. Cue cards are easier. You can just hold it on your hand, and the moment you finish a point, put it down, just gracefully, and <coughs> conclude your speech. Throughout, you have pretty some. You have some redundant gestures. You you put your hands on your on, on your hips like this. What's the purpose of you doing that? <laughs> There's no meaning in it. Then you like throughout your speech. You like to stand on one leg, like what I'm doing right now. I'm shifting my body weight onto one leg. If you are not required to move, then just plant your feet firmly onto the ground. Don't stand. As you stand on one leg, it can it shows the audience that you are nervous. You're not well prepared. As a speaker, you that is something that you should never want to show to your audience that you are not well prepared. And try not to turn your body in this manner. Because when you do turn your body in this manner, you are back face your left side audience. So what you can do is, as he pack one, two, three, until they hit 12. This way everyone gets to see your full body language. Okay, so a couple of things. One more thing is when you use the tin of biscuits, it'd be better if you wrap boxes in and place them into a bag. This represents being a Santa Claus that you're giving a gift out. You know, rather than uh, you start giving that everyone, ah, I want, I want, I want, then you have to run around your your speech. Plus, when you when you say the baker's pastry tastes weird, and act the scenario out, how how weird? The the the, the person take the food, and act the situation, make it more fun. Okay, just watch out all this. I'm sure you'll be on the path to a good advanced speaker. Back to you.